Hello and welcome to another Amazon Amatron 3 tutorial. This tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide in setting up Amabus machines for GPS switch. So this is non-ISA bus machines. It's valid from Amatron 3 software version 106. Okay, we're going to start by powering up the box, press the power button and the machine should load up. Okay, we need to find the Isobus TC menu. So press and hold the toggle switch for three seconds. The menu overview should appear. Now press the down button, in this case, to select the Isobus menu and then press the enter key. Okay, you should see the display like this. If it says task data or master data, then we need to switch the job management off. So press the F2 button. And on the next page, make sure that box is unchecked. If it is, uncheck it and then turn the Amatron off and back on again. We can just skip this step because we're okay. Right, on the screen you can see um, the Amatron 3 has detected two machines so we've got uh, a tractor already set up in the tractor ECU within the terminal and it's detected that there's a spreader connected as well. So if we press key F1 the machine will think a little bit and the display will then change. Okay we have a blank screen with no machine set up yet so press key F1 to add a new machine. A new default machine is created. So it's got a spurious name. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, it thinks it's a sprayer for two sections. So press F2 and we can edit this machine. So we can give it a new name, a name that makes some sense. So we've got a spreader connected at the moment. So press the enter key to change the name. Press F6 just to clear the default name. And then use the keypad to move the cursor and input a new name. So I've called this the ZAM spreader. Once you're happy, press the tick key and you can see our name has changed. Okay, just need to correct the rest of the default data now. So press the down key. We can change the machine type here, press enter and the display gives you the options. So I'm going to select spreader, so down key and the enter key to select the spreader. Okay, I need to adjust the number of sections so down key to highlight the box and press enter you see the number of sections is currently set to 2 so you can use the plus or minus keys here to adjust that value and I'm going to adjust it up to 6 because that's the standard number of sections on the ZAM Hydro using the keypad Make the change and then press the enter key. OK, 
OK. And the box below that is standard section. So that's the width of each of the six sections. So press the down key. We can highlight the box now and press the enter key. And we can edit this number now. So I've got a 24 meter working width divided by 6 is 4 meters. So I'll change this using the keypad. So there we go, 400 centimeters. So beware, it is in centimeters. Once I'm happy, press the enter key. Okay, and there we are. Now the boxes below that are the uh, number of sections, numbered one to six, and that's left to the right as you're driving forwards. So I'm just going to check these are all okay. Press the down key. Yeah, they're all set at four meters, my six sections. Okay, we're almost done here. We just need to enter the geometry of the machine now. So press key F1. Okay, this is the geometry from the hitch point to the working point, or the center of the discs, or the sprayer boom on the sprayer. So the tractor ECU already holds the information of where the receiver is in relation to the hitch point. And just in this screen, we're going to tell it how far back the disks are from the hitch point. So I'm not worried about GPS X2 because that's just a dimension for the, for the axle, if there is one, but there isn't on this machine. So GPS X1 it's a positive figure in centimetres again. So the box is highlighted, just press enter and we can edit this information. So use the keypad again and I'm going to enter an exact measurement of 75 centimetres. Once you're happy, press the enter key and the display goes back. OK, we're done here. So I can press F4 to escape backwards. And F4 again. OK, and there's our machine at the top. It's not yet been activated, because that box is unchecked. But you can see at the bottom of the screen, a brief overview, the name, the type, the number of sections, and GPS X1. Now GPS X1 is a figure that you can manipulate if you think you're turning um, off too early or too late, you can adjust this figure to correct that. All I need to do now though is just activate the machine, so I press key F2 and that checks the box, so that machine is now active. OK, and press the back key, it takes me back to that screen. OK, we'll just uh, have a look at the GPS switch menu now. Press the toggle button to jump to the GPS switch screen. And I can see now that uh, my machine has now loaded up on this page. You can see the working width and the number of sections. So that information has been dragged across from the ISOBUS TC menu. And just below that, coupling data is taken from the Amazon tractor. So apart from uh, GPS signal, I'm good to go. 
Um, one thing I've just got to check is the setup menu here. So press key F4. And on page one, um, I can see a few issues here. So just to explain, at the top you've got the degree of overlap, and that's set to 100%. Um, you can change that from 0 to 50 to 100%. Um, you've got the overlap tolerance. Uh, so this is the amount that the section is allowed to overlap before it uh, switches off or on. Uh, and it's good. You can adjust this from 0 to 150 centimeters. I suggest you adjust it to halfway, 75 centimeters. And that just stops the sections switching on and off intermittently when you least expect it, just where there's a bit of underlap or overlap. But you don't necessarily want that section to switch off, particularly when you're turning onto the headland track. Um, so we can adjust that in a moment. And the headland distance is important. This is your switching on point. So it's defaulted to half the working width, 12 meters. Um, if you think you're turning um, on too late, you can reduce this figure a little bit. Likewise, if you think you're turning on too early, you just make the number a bit bigger. Now at the bottom of the machine, at uh, the bottom of the page, you've got uh, the machine modeling and it currently thinks it's a towed machine, so we can change that. So if I just press key F4, okay, now we can adjust the overlap tolerance using keys uh, F6 and F2. And like I said, I'm going to adjust up to 75 centimeters. Just on page two, uh, press the page button. Um, we can leave this uh, acoustic field border warning on or off. Uh, it just gives you a bleep, audible bleep as you're coming up towards the boundary. And the hit recognition is is just for filtering um, out the fields if you're recording all of the boundaries. So nothing to worry about there or change. So I can press the escape key and it goes back to the main screen. Okay, so we've done everything we need to do to set up the um, uh, Amatron 3 and the Amabus implement ready for section control. I just need a GPS signal. Thanks for watching. Bye.